Let's get it on. Ladies uh, uh, and gentlemen, excellent. may I have your attention, please? The show starts in... Yesterday's price is Five, not today's price. Eight, seven, Yesterday's price... Six, is not today's price. Be certified. Now you don't want to be messing with me because I'm liable to stuff a mud hole in your ass. You know? Fight. Let me give you some insight. A step to the round table. Hey, hey. But you know, talk is cheap, but it's different when you talk to T. Let's get into the script. Is it facts or is it fix? They talking to the coach when you speak the fish. But it's deeper than that. I nigga, it's deeper than rap. Yeah, even 100 to see. We keep it a stack. Forever gon' speak. Keep it together for free. Yeah, I don't care if it's one or two of y'all. You know, Reggie, take three. Big Slam, Richie the Butcher. He be doing this thing He ain't going down without a fight Whoever step in his ring And that's your warning scrap No faking, you know we on to that Warn ain't let none get past Like Warren Sapp Like, you can you get with this or get with that It's real talk, ass. we don't do that you know? tip for tap Once you said it, you said it Can't never take it back Nah, live and direct Welcome to Opinionated Facts I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. Yeah. Uh, hey. Woo! If you win, you win. If you lose, you still win. Consist of the millions ah. Told you. of Rocks fans. They're What's up, team? <laughs> Welcome to Opinionated Facts. We have some special guests here today. We have a mother, a businesswoman, 15 years, mm -hmm. an yeah. educator, family yeah. woman, and mm -hmm. definitely a co-host on one of our favorite shows here at Opinionated Facts, a co-host on Forensic Fridays, none other than Queen Brittany Huff. How you doing tonight, well, Brittany? Welcome, Queen. Do we clap it up? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, yeah, clap it up. Yeah, yeah. Glad to have you. Thank y'all for, yeah, for having you. Absolutely. Not to be out there, we also got some king royalty in here. Father, black and too. Yellow, black and yellow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I, you are out there. All right, my brother. All right, all right. All right. All right. We're glad to have him. That's right. We're glad Father, to have him. That's right. <laughs> Father, of two. Oh, they in here. What? From Baltimore, by way of Brooklyn, Coppin yeah. State graduate, public yeah. relations consultant for the government, the government, yeah. the, none do. other than the Carl Roster, a.k.a. Junior. Hey, what's up, man? What's, <laughs> what's up? up? What's bro? up? What's up? Are y'all right? Thank you. Thanks for having yeah, me. Man. Glad to have it's you. Honor. Glad to have y'all, man. Good to be here. Good to be here. Well, it all goes downhill from here. 
Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> now we got that out the way. <laughs> Let's get the business, huh? Let's get the business. I just want to run through something real quick. Uh, how was y'all Christmas? I want to know off the bat, what's the best and what's the worst gift you got? Let our guests go first. Go ahead, Britt. Um, the best gift was the gift I gave to myself. I didn't get any bad gifts this year, so I think I'm on the up this year. Okay. He's winning. All right. Next. <laughs> <laughs> I got a coffee grinder. Oh. Is that a good or bad? I mean, I drink coffee, so it works. So All right, so what's the good gift? <laughs> uh, the coffee grinder was cool. Uh, the best gift, uh, you know, I'm alive. You know, I'm, I feel good to be alive in this day and age. That was the That's best all right, bro. That's I'll take that. <laughs> but the coffee grinder was still good, though. I got you. But you didn't leave her. You was just like, uh. Yeah, it sounded like you're trying to repeat that. I mean, it was, it was yeah, good, yeah, don't it was walk it back good, now. It's a good gift. It was a good gift. I didn't say it was bad. It was a Reggie, gift. Reggie put in the chat, yeah, who did it there come from? No, I, that's it. That's it. I always get blamed for the chat. My hands were right. Hey, who, did, hey, right. Hey, chat. who did it come from? <laughs> who did it come from? Answer say, the question. I'm going to just say Dallas, nope. Did you, it, was it, was it one of those because I love you type gifts? Oh, it could have probably been so JMC I, or DMC or Love MC or Run DMC. I don't know. Oh, that's where it came from. <laughs> Got it. Let's move on. See, 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 see. I'm not trying to go to Dallas, but see, this is the foolishness I got to deal with. You know what I'm uh -oh. it's, right. it's only move two on. minutes in, guys. Only two minutes All in. All right, move on. move on. Fish, how about you? Well, uh, I'm a Scrooge, man. I hate the holidays. I hate Christmas with a passion. But I will say this. Surprise, surprise. This, 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 what else? <laughs> I will say that, you know, uh, me and my pops, you know, we did Christmas together this year. He really enjoyed, man. So that was probably, you know, he get older. He he more about the family. So that was, that was cool to put a smile on his face, man. Hey, Pish, why are you a Scrooge, though? Huh? Why are you a Scrooge? I don't know. I hate Christmas. I hate the holidays. What happened? I don't know. He said, what happened? We, Who did we, it? We'd we be here all night. <laughs> Must be a long line of bad gifts. Yeah. <laughs> no, it ain't a gift. I mean, it ain't a gift. To keep it a buck, I'm, I'm really not a people person. I, I hate being around people. And normally the holidays are full of people. So I just, I'm a homebody. Hey, Britt, this just means he got a whole lot of socks and sweaters over the years. <laughs> hey, look, let me tell you something. Hold up. Hold up, though. Now, when you're a certain age, when you're 25, 26 years old, you don't want no socks. But when you hit 40, then you appreciate a good pair of socks. Man, what? I'm trying to tell you. You know, look, you know, you know it's socks. You know it's socks so uh, tank tops where you, you can feel it. They don't even put Listen. it in the box. <laughs> I know what it feel like. It's Listen. like a pillow. It make a difference, man. It yeah. make a difference. I'm okay with it, yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Well, watch this. I say that that's not even 40. This is anything out of 30, for real. Hey, okay. I'm fine with it. I, you just know at a certain age when Grandma used to buy you them tube socks, you was like, man, what is this? But as you get older and all your socks missing, you appreciate socks. <laughs> what, what we talked about the other day. Every time oh, I look on Trey Save it. Save, save it? Save, oh, okay. Save, 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 save. All right. Uh, all right. <laughs> Mine's just yeah. left here, and so did half my socks. But I ain't gonna bring okay. that up. Okay, you see what I'm saying? Did he steal your controls this game, bro? He, he nah, he got out? a PlayStation Five this time, so oh, he had man. to steal my stuff this time. He good. I had to go yeah. borrow borrow controls. What about you, TJ? I didn't get no bad gifts this year, but my kids. Oh, he did um, good. Good. Wow. This what we doing, huh? <laughs> who, is he, who is this he you keep talking about? Like you keep bringing up he. Who is this he you keep talking about? Are you in love go with ahead. him that bad, go, that much? Go, go, go. Did you go. get your permission tonight? What you get? What you get, man? What you get, man? TJ, you get your permission tonight? Not having it tonight. I, 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 got time, I got time tonight, Reggie. I got time tonight. But look, check this out. Too. Look, right. But no, I didn't get no bad gifts. My kids both bought me a pair of headphones. You know what they said? They said, Daddy. We bought you two pairs of headphones because the ones you walk around with suck. 
Mm. It's it's move, yeah, it's definitely move your kids. To the next person. Yeah, definitely my kids. I was about to say, yeah, definitely your kids. <laughs> yeah. Reggie? I, my thing, I, I gifts, I like giving gifts. So, he like, no money. I, I did good. I did, you know, they, my son got a lot of You ain't get no money put in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> nah, and I, I and I did go dancing. I did go Uh-oh. dancing. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. We got an order, guys. It's a violent show. This is a violent show tonight. See, see, see. Hit dog. Hit dog. Hit dog. Hit dog. Hit dog. I'm uh-huh. asking a question. What's what happened? When what you happened? went when you went dancing. A hit dog. What did happened? Did you go dancing for money? Or did you go I don't do what you do, brother. Did you go dancing for money or what was that about? I, I don't do what you do, brother. You know. I don't do that. I don't do that. You know? I don't have I don't have that. I don't have that. All right. All right. I got a question though. Is 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 Christmas for kids? Cause that's how I feel like. Christmas yeah, is more yeah. for kids than adults, so I don't. Yeah, well, yeah, as, as adults, we appreciate our gifts more now. Let me ask you a question: they, they don't be coming. For I real. think I get more. I think I get more excited about Christmas for doing for the kids. You know, what yeah. I'm saying yeah. I can care less about myself, but just you know to see how they react. You know, and I remember how it was when we got gifts when we was kids. So that's more so for me. You know. So my wife threw me a loophole shoot because I was like, you know, Christmas for kids. <laughs> You know, not because I we didn't I didn't want to get her a gift or she wanted to give me a gift, but she didn't like the fact that I said that because I, I guess because Christmas is for family. You know, she wants to see she wants the kids to see me giving her a gift or her giving me a gift. You know, so I had to like change my mindset because I really I never like my parents growing up. I never seen them exchange gifts, and I thought I didn't think nothing was wrong with that. Same, man. But I always saw like them getting excitement out of us opening gifts, you know, stuff like right. that. So yeah. I guess I have to change my mindset because I I totally get her the way she come up. You know, it's when you get married, you gotta combine the two. Like I grew up this way, and she, you know, she grew up that way. But it's like it's hard sometimes letting go of your the way you come up. You know, what I'm saying your thoughts and stuff. So I thought I asked that because I still believe Christmas for kids, but now I gotta concede. You know. So, uh, more I feel like that about you know getting gifts with your kids and stuff like the excitement, you know. I love it, man. I, I love them, you know. I love even the new age, you know. I can like um, do like a Santa app, and you know, my youngest, he still believe, but you know, the eleven year old, he like he, what you, what y'all getting us basically, but he gonna play <laughs> along. <laughs> so it's a little app that you could you could press, you know, and it shows Santa in your actual house. And you know, Salas was just going crazy. Yeah, they got that for the Santa. They got it for the Two Fairy, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. I need that joint. That's yeah. What's up. Okay, that's what's up. That's all right, man. I uh, I would say my uh, I didn't get no bad gifts at all. Uh, my favorite one I would have to say would be uh, my son. He, he's at that age where he don't believe in Santa. So I had to go a roundabout way about doing it. So when he I went and picked him up, he came in. The tree was up, but wasn't no gifts under it. Well, he ain't say nothing. You know, we went on about it. So each day leading up to Christmas, I would go put a gift under there. And he'll come in like, yo, Dad, uh, it's a gift under there. I was like, okay, did you put it under there? He was like, no, you ain't do it? No, nah, I've been, I been in sleep. You woke me up. And he was just miffed about all these gifts that kept coming up under there every day. So once it, once that day came through and he opened up the gifts, it was everything he wanted. He was like, man, thanks, Dad. I thought I wasn't getting nothing. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. they had no, none of the gifts had no names on. My son is spoiled, so I'm trying to teach him that everything is needs to be worked for or a meritocracy around here. You know, so he's learning. Y'all keep me in prayer. But my socks, that's a different that, that's a different story altogether. Right, hey, Fish? Hey, you already know. <laughs> but you a teenager. Teenagers is different. Yeah, so Carl, you got uh you got a uh a, a five year old, I mean a six, six year old and a yeah, six and a fourteen. 
Okay. 15 this year, man. They just expensive. All they want is dunks, Nike sweatsuits, everything. You know what I'm saying? So now when the kids get older, they get more expensive because they condense yeah. their gifts from 20 and 25 gifts when they five and six years old. And they be like, I only want five gifts, but these five gifts equal up $500. Man, tell me about it. 500 <laughs> no, man. You're doing good, brother. Hey, <laughs> what? $500? <laughs> oh, what? Turn around. I got to turn around. I got a birthday to deal with. Man, yeah. what? Yeah. Right after it. Yeah. yeah, my birthday <laughs> yeah. is three for Christmas. Man, listen, I, got, I just thought about it. I got a funny Christmas story. So trying to find Trey trade something for Christmas, man. So, you know, even... You know, had I forgot what iPhone he had, but it was outdated. I'm like, All right, I'm gonna get him a phone. So Christmas was on Sunday, so that Friday, I go out to get the phone, right? You know, so I told the guy, I said, Hey, I don't need this activated till Christmas. I want no problems. Get here Christmas. Trey, you know, he hyped about the phone. Yeah, thanks, Dad, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. He was like, But T Mobile busted you Friday. I said, What you talking about? <laughs> they sent the text message to his phone. Oh. <laughs> Confirm, <laughs> confirming the purchase, man. I said, "Oh man, they terrible, man. They terrible." But that was funny. That's that's dope. Yeah, and we did the same with Caleb. Um, we got him an iPhone, so he like he he thought um, he thought he was getting like he thought that the PlayStation Five was it basically, and he's just gonna get games for it. But um, we put the iPhone. We had to get it activated, of course. We put the iPhone in like a um, an Amazon box, and then we put in like a little uh, one of them hand massages, just like for athletes. So when he opened it, he was like, "Oh, thanks, thanks, y'all." <laughs> yeah, so you could tell he was. <laughs> so I was like, "Yeah, you can stop using." I, we played it. I was like, "Yeah, you could, you know, you could stop using my, uh, my, you know, the hand massage and stuff." So, so I was like, open it some more, you know, test it out. So when he opened it, he saw the iPhone. He, like, fainted, bro. Like, he was, that's dope. Yeah, that's what's up. That's, that's, that's what Chris is for me, like, seeing their reaction and all that stuff. So, mm-hmm. Yeah, I love it. How old is he? Caleb is 11 now. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. He's that's 11. His that's his first phone. Oh, good. And, I thought it was just me. Good. Yeah, so, I, so <laughs> you... uh. <laughs> My kids had phones, so they were toddlers. It was ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Same here, TJ. Hold on. You're talking about, toddlers. like, activated phones, or you talking about just yes. phones that you had before? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what they got this year? They got iPads, the the brand new ones with well, pencils. Well, they did a presentation, Doom. That's true. So, That's you know, true. You got to give them credit. You got to give them credit. Listen, I have no issue. You know, me and April, we go, you know, we don't have no issue doing for them because they are good kids. But these kids, it seems like they get iPhones and iPads every year. Y'all killing me. I haven't gotten a, I, I just got a brand new iPhone. I haven't had a phone in four years. And these kids is getting brand, I, I got iPads over here that, that haven't even been jailbroken. They could have used those. But no, we had to get them brand new iPads. Mm. What a time to be alive, right? <laughs> Ain't that right? Y- y- y'all smiling. Y- y'all see this. <laughs> this is different. Now we got a couple of topics we want to talk about. Um, let's see here. Now this is the beginning of the year, and it's our first show at the beginning of the year. But I want to jump re- jump back real quick and get you all's thoughts about the whole Tory Lanes and the Meg Stallion type of deal. What's y'all thoughts mm. on that? Mm. Mm-hmm. Let our guests go first. Um, Britt, what's, your, what's mm-hmm. your thoughts on that? He did it. He did it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he yeah, admitted right? it. I mean, it's came, it came yeah, out since did. then. He did it. It's a lot of controversy, but he did it. He said he did it. Yeah, stupid, man. He incriminated himself over the phone, man. Over the phone. Yeah. Oh, oh. And it says, it's, it says you will be this recorded is a recorded line. <laughs> <laughs> a quality of search. Well, I was drunk that. when you made the call because I'm confused. Definitely oh. said that. And then, oh, he, and then he made his father look even crazier. But go ahead, continue. I'm sorry, Britt. His that father part, going hang on your there. son dead wrong. Yeah, dead wrong. But I think also the other part of that is even when his father was going in before he said anything, it was clear that he did it. Mm. It was still clear that he did it. If you got a little bit of common sense, 
you will be able to put two and two together to see it happened. Yeah, it's what's, what's your thoughts on that, Julia? <laughs> well, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. In the it's a beginning. little murky. Go ahead. Come on, it's bro. murky water, right? It's murky water. <laughs> so, in the beginning, when I first heard he was found guilty of all charges, I was shocked because of the amount of evidence at that time that, that we did not know. It was like, y'all charges this man guilty on all charges with lack of evidence for real. And then Kelsey is pleading the fifth, which will include her of incriminating herself. Now that will happen of him telling on himself, that makes sense why she was pleading the fifth. Because yeah, he told he, on himself to he, Kelsey. He, oh, right, wow. he told on himself to Kelsey. <laughs> so that's why she pled the fifth. So and so her pleading the fifth was a clear indication. It, well, that he did it. Well, it, I, I was thinking that she was maybe pleading the fifth because she had something to do with it. The part that really comes together of all of this is when the whole situation happened. Everybody kept on saying Tory was dealing with both of them, and I had a mm. feeling he was, which he was. He made a song about it, right? Well, I mean, I mean, when they was coming out, that was the baby. That, no, yeah, that was the baby. baby that, was, the that was that was a that was the baby that did that. But I, I mean, for it to go the way it did, and he wound up and they leaking when he was talking to Kelsey about it. I said, this this nigga's a dummy. He a fool. He told he, to, he, mm. he I mean, he's done. And his father, I'm still tripping about how he got a bald head with a part on the side, and that's the part he's talking <laughs> about. That's all of it. <laughs> So I mean, you know, you, you want you know you want to know what the sad part about the whole thing is he ain't gonna be in jail long. I don't no. know, bro. You don't think so? I don't know, bro. No, he ain't California, no. bro. In my opinion, my opinion, I don't think he gonna be in jail long. I think this was just to make an example, mm. but because he? at the end of the day, no, and it's not. Listen, he that did mean, it. That that that's the that's the whole did. bottom line. He did, it. he did it. But even if he go to jail, he's gonna get out and. He's gonna be a pariah to most women because he did he did it, but mm-hmm. he's still gonna go be able to make far. music and sell records because of the controversy part. No different than Kanye. Every time Kanye was getting ready to release an album, uh, here come the controversy. He say something or do something stupid. This, this different. Is no though. different. This is gonna elevate this. I'm telling you. It's this is what I'm telling you. I nah, believe he done. in the history of me too. I don't think he done. TJ in the history of me too movement, bro. This is totally different, bro. Kanye just talking crazy. He talking crazy. No, I'm no. He it's looking not at jail time. I'm just making a point about the controversy part of it. At the end of What's... the day, it's all about selling selling albums and you know all that. He anyway. got good music. So, How many years is he facing? Bro, he looking at over twenty, bro. It's like five to twenty or something like that. He looking, bro, he's going to do five time, bro. You in California? Yeah. That is California. I certain think states. Do the low end. I, I, but he got even, even if he do the low end. But even if he do the low end, he offer extradition back to Canada, man. He 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 finished, man. He finished here anyway. Mm. I, I think they'll find a loophole somewhere because again, mm-hmm. people didn't he blame it on he was drunk or something? Like he was so drunk. That's yeah. what he said. That's, that's what he, he said. Yeah, that's yeah. what he said. I was so drunk when I got there. I ain't. Even I don't know about that parade. <laughs> that's the word. We know a couple. Of, we know a couple of men that but did watch some stuff this. for it's women. The they point. still getting women. No, what? I, no, I'm not. saying. I'm not speaking for all women, but again, okay. Brittany's opinion basically what the first thing she said, he did it. That's the bottom mm-hmm. line. This is mm-hmm. why he's in this mess. It don't matter how it happened, why it happened, when it happened. He mm-hmm. did it. That's it. No, he definitely did. Well, listen, from, from, and then you got people, and then you got people that's actually out here defending him, like they throwing I was about Jay-Z to say that and all them in the mix and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like what well, he got to do with it. And even if he did have something to do with it on some back, you know. Back behind the scenes type stuff. The point is, Tory Lanez did it. That, I was about to ask you that, TJ, uh, or the, the group. Do we ha- do we jump to a conclusion of guilt or innocent when something come out? Because just recently, um, Javante Tank Davis, you know, as soon as his picture came out on the shade room about domestic violence, it was guilty. You know what I'm saying? Like he did that. You know what I'm saying? But but then some other stuff came out. And she kind of recanted her statement. So with with Megan, our first, um, you know, when you first hear the news, you know, it's like, yeah, Tori did that. That's low-hanging fruit. But what if the roles were reversed? 
if a woman if a woman was accused of shooting them in the foot would they be automatically you know guilty by the um court of a public opinion or they would get you the know what happen meg ratings will go up what's your thoughts on that Brittany? To answer your question, no, I don't think it would be an automatic guilt conversation. I think when it comes to women on a on a total spectrum, a lot of times we look for the details first to decide if like, did she do it? Did, was it merited for her to do it? Like why, you know, they want to know the backstory. However, with Tank, he has a history. Bingo. Bingo. And so I think that's what makes them different in that situation because it's not the first time. And so he's been proven guilty in his history. So it's like, regardless of what she did, even if she was at fault in addition to, he has a history of it. So yes, I do believe that because he has the history. Yeah, but watch this though. On on Back to the Tory and Meg joint. Like if you remember when it happened, nobody knew who did it. Nobody did. Because, because even at the time she was saying, you know, that she wasn't necessarily shot. But this dude kept going on Instagram live, like antagonizing her. And finally she was like, Hold up, nigga, like you shot me. Like <laughs> But she tried to protect him she did. initially. Yes, she, she did, did. try to protect yes, him yeah. initially. So I thought it was kind of wild for people to like kind of turn on Meg when she tried to, you know, for lack of better words, she tried to hold it down initially. But he's so busy being a you know, a hothead, he started well, antagon well, like, antagonizing about it. So now, you know, like like the old folks say, you make your bed, you gotta lay in it. But she did try to hold that man down. I don't know if it was over love or, or 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 trying to, you know, so they wouldn't mess up their career. Whatever it was, when the cops first start harassing her, she won't trying to give them up. You know what I'm saying? So I thought that was why I had this though. Britt, in, in your opinion, and Meg has a huge fan base. If it came out the opposite way, like oh, Meg shot Tory or something like that. Do you agree that her that will build her cash? Eh? Yeah. These women the, be going crazy over her. For the exact reason that I said, because anytime something comes up with women, a lot of times it's like, well, what prompted her to do that? Instead of, mm. oh, like, guilty and then prove yourself innocent. Mm. And that's yeah. just a society thing that's really unfortunate, but it's the way it is. I know this is gonna be squeamish, but do y'all remember uh, Lorena Bobbitt when that yeah. when, she, when she did what she did? Yeah, yeah. you know, it wasn't like it wasn't that she did something horrible. It was more so of why did Shocking. what did he do? What did he do to deserve that? Not you know, say you just she she did something horrible, but I just thought that it's like it came out later that he was like abusing her or something like that. But women, and even you the know, initial reaction people wasn't yeah. so much horrified by it they were shocked you know because you never heard nothing like that before but then like you say then the second narrative is okay well he must have did something for her to go right. crazy like that because that's unheard of you know what i mean not that he a victim though you know what i'm saying right. he must have right. did something exactly. to deserve this yeah. and i think that's just it's a double standard it's unfortunate but it's always you know, gonna be double standard. Yeah, it's, always gonna be double it's crazy though because in, in harlem nights you know i know it's a movie but Eddie Murphy shot shot a big toe on. Well, Eddie Murphy was big... assaulted. That was different. <laughs> but look, no, no, she pulled a but knife he still on got... him. She pulled a knife on him. Remember? She pulled a knife. She pulled a knife on him before. She pulled they did square up though. They did. The they square up, and she and she pulled the knife. Yeah, she ain't she sneaking. Assaulted him. <laughs> nah, she. They they was they was scrapping. They were scrapping. They know <laughs> he. he... Remember, he came outside and he was joking, and she hit him in his face. Yeah. He was like, "Whoa!" Yeah, you know that joint hurt too. Yeah, you know it hurt. <laughs> and he you shot a big toe. He warned her though. Got the pinky toe up. Yes. So, and we're not trying. You know, it's not funny. You know, not trying to make a joke about Meg, but it just, it just hit me. You know, what I'm saying like he actually really did a Harlem Nights real life. Thing, cause he was mad or drunk, like this joker really shot her toe off. Yeah, he was wild. I think I'm more baffled that after all of this, all these months came out, and it come to find out this fool that actually told on himself the whole time. The whole, the whole time. time. Was he? He, he hey, was in there the whole time. He could have definitely look, copped the plea though. Part. He should have copped the plea. Well, they offered him a plea. He he they offered him a plea the day before the trial started. He should have. He should have took the plea. What was the plea? 
Uh, just take take lesser charges, less time. But he thought he could beat it. Well, you in California, bro. But see, this this the crazy part. The the key witness for the defense, it was like the day before the trial started. I think his father or something caught the the key witness coming out the prosecutor office. You should have known right then. Your case was done. How my star witness is in the prosecution office. That's, that's crazy. Was out, yeah. out front going off. Okay? <laughs> Yo, that's yeah. crazy. That was going on. But I still think Kelsey had a whole lot more to do with it. I'm telling you, said I, I said that too. She had something. I don't to do think Tori necessarily fired off all the shots. I think Kelsey might have let one or two go herself. Because they didn't go off all together. If you listen to the audio, they didn't happen consecutively. And the neighbor said when he came out the first time, he saw a female and fireworks. She was in on it. She was mad. She he, she, that Megan slept with Tori. Let, let's, let, that's exactly. what this was about. She got mad. Megan introduced Kelsey and Tori together for her to go back behind her back and sleep with. She she was she was yeah. pissed. Yeah. Alcohol. Well. Oh yeah, I call it. That's the truth, sir. Boy, boy, listen, boy, it makes you real yeah, boy. Yeah, <laughs> Ask Reggie to take a drink. <laughs> Ice chip. Yeah. Ice chip. Yeah. Ice tea. <laughs> All right, that was a good segment. Yeah, let us know in the comment section, man, what y'all think about this Meg and Tory uh, situation.